Welcome to Cam Look, coming to you from the Cincinnati Art Museum, where every day at 10 a.m. we share an object from the permanent collection and bring questions for discussion. I'm Julie, a Cam docent. Let's look today at this painting made in 1892 by Joseph Henry Sharp entitled Fountain Square Pantomime. It's in our Cincinnati Wing, Gallery 119. As we'll see, the painting is a playful, slice-of-life character study, as well as a fascinating look back into Cincinnati history at Christmas time. There is a lot to talk about in this painting, but I'd like to begin by pointing out some details that reveal its time and place. People are wearing coats, and we see among the crowd some bare trees with a few leaves on the cobblestone street, indicating late fall or winter. In the background is an old-time streetcar. On the far left, we have a glimpse of the Tyler Davidson Fountain, including this sculpture of a boy riding a turtle, one of the four outer figures encircling the genius of water. Originally, and for over a hundred years, Fountain Square was in the middle of Fifth Street between Walnut and Vine. Here, we're looking west, down Fifth, toward Vine. A streetcar line is visible on the left, and trees line both sides of the esplanade. That places the crowd in our painting about where the red X is. The large building in the upper right is the Mably and Carew department store. Note the platform on the second floor above the awning. With the exception of some men talking important business and some mischievous kids giving the policeman some grief, all eyes are fixed on something above and to their left. It's Santa Claus arriving in Cincinnati. Each year from 1890 to 1923, Mably and Carew staged Christmas pantomimes on their second floor platform. As described in an Inquirer article of December 7, 1890, quote, packed like sardines, every inch of available space covered with little toddlers' feet or those of adults who held them aloft, it was a jolly convention. They were of all sizes and ranks. The scion of wealth fought for his point of vantage with the ragamuffin. And when the first curtain was raised and there displayed to view was the familiar form of Santa Claus, a shout went to heaven and down through alleys and streets from a thousand throats. End quote. Here is a portrait of Joseph Henry Sharp made by Frank Duvenek in 1895, which you will be able to see in our special exhibition, Frank Duvenek, American Master. Now that you have seen Joseph Henry Sharp's likeness, see if you can spot where he put himself in the crowd next to his new bride, artist Addie Byram. Sharp must have had some fun depicting the many personalities, distractions, and shenanigans. Who would you like to have a conversation with? There are even some cameo appearances of fellow artists and prominent citizens. The two gents in deep conversation in front of the fountain are Judge Moses F. Wilson and Leon Van Loo in the top hat. Van Loo was a photographer, art collector, and along with Sharp, a founding member of the Cincinnati Art Club. Louis Henry Macon is there, who is also an artist in Cam's collection. The dog is Pretzel, a bull terrier owned by Miss Eckstein of East 4th Street. Did you find Mr. and Mrs. Sharp? They are next to the tree to our left. If you visit Gallery 122, you might recognize a literal departure in Sharp's work. He spent the rest of his long career living out west painting American Indians, for which he is most well known. For the good of each other, holiday gatherings like Fountain Square Pantomime are out of the question this year. 
But ironically, staying away is solidarity. It means that community is not canceled. I wish you peace and joy in the little things and hope for a bright new year.